Hello everyone, Kitty Wampus Gamer here bringing you another episode of Minecraft Awakening. Today's episode we are going to be working on some stuff from Nuclear Craft. All right, I want to be able to make the Nuclear Craft reactor, the fission reactor, and I need to make several different things to make that. So let's see. If we just look at Nuclear Craft, you can see that we are going to need reactor coolers and one of the best ones that you can get is actually the liquid helium reactor cooler and for that let me click over here so I can hit R you're going to need four liquid helium four cells and an empty reactor cooler now to get the helium whoops this one to get the liquid helium four cells we need to use a helium or a helium-4 cell in a helium liquefier and that gives us liquid helium-4. These helium-4 cells we get from putting a empty fluid cell into the helium collector and then we get helium-4 cells. So we're going to need to make a helium collector and a helium liquefier. Alright, so one of the first things that I need to make, I need to take this electrum, I need to put it in here, I need a stick because I need to make these MV wire coils. I need to make a bunch of those. I'll just use up all the electrum. I don't really need it for much else. All right, we're gonna grab some electrum wire cool coils and we are going to make these amplifier electron tubes. I believe that's what I want and I'm gonna double check. Yep, that's what I want. All right. We'll use up all these and just build these. Ooh, they're only single slot. Okay, I didn't realize that. All right, so then we're going to put those in here, and this is the recipe for machine base for the nuclear craft. So we're going to make five of those. I really wish those electron tubes would stack. Hmm, interesting. That's usually for the revolver. All right, so now if we go in here, and you can see those icons are still spinning. That just makes me smile whenever I see that. Um, Shadow Wake has said that that will be fixed in the next update. Okay, let's see. We type in helium. We are going to need the helium collector, which is actually easy. It's basic plating and thorium-230. Now I'm going to make five of these. I think and I want a liquid helium extractor which we made the machine base we I think we have reinforced plating we have tin plate we're gonna need a small nuclear chamber which is gonna be universal reactant and basic plating so we'll just grab a few of those probably need them for something later on not quite sure and I have what I need for this oops I only have one base in there now I'm not sure how long this takes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take these and we're just going to put these five down like this. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and we also need empty fluid cells. And I'm going to need more of those because I only have four stacks. The recipe for those is just tin plates. And those tin plates are just made in the immersive engineering press that we made over there. You just put tin in it. All right, so now if we run over here and we throw in a stack of these, you'll see this will start counting over, and then once it hits over here, the end, it'll give us a helium-4 cell. So we're just going to fill all of these up, like so. And now this, the helium, or the liquid helium extractor, is going to need RF. So we're going to run over here and grab a generator and some coal. We'll grab this. I don't know how much power it takes. But this should give us like 400 RF a tick, which I don't think it would use more than that, but I'm not sure. Oh, 320 RF per tick is what that gives off. Now, I don't think you can upgrade this. It doesn't look like there's upgrade slots, so we'll just have to live with that. All right, while these are going... I can talk about a couple other things. I did make an ME fluid assembler, a 64K crafting storage, 
a pattern encoder and what this does is I put a let's see where is it? I think it's in this one yeah I have a fluid drive in here so if I look in here I can see that I have 4,000 buckets of water well what this fluid crafter allows me to do is I can come in here and go water and I will show how to do all this auto crafting and stuff later on I need to get into it pretty soon in the next week or two I think so I can just hit fresh water, which this I can break down into one liquid essentia. Or I say liquid, one water essentia. So I can just hit craft and I can go like 10,000 of these and hit next. And it'll say it's ready to go and I hit start. And what this will do is just auto craft those buckets or fresh water is what they're called. But they're basically buckets of water. And they automatically get output to my alchemical furnace down in my thumbcraft room so what happens is is that'll just go to town and work and as long as that doesn't run out of fuel downstairs I will come back to 10,000 water essentia I think it's essentia all right so now we got a helium 4 cell so let's put that in here and see how fast this works oops okay Oh, I built the wrong thing. Oh, wow. Ugh. That was a derp on my part. Alright, we need... Helium. Let's see if I can grab the right one this time. We don't want the extractor, we want the liquefier. I can't believe that I wasted all that stuff. Alright. So now if we put this down... All right, this can have upgrades. So if we put a helium-4 cell in here, it is going to liquefy, and we can do upgrades. So let's go ahead and do that, just because we can. Let's see, speed upgrade, there we go. And I also want the energy efficient one. Energy upgrade, right? Used to increase the energy efficiency of machines. Yeah, totally gonna make those, because why not? Okay, need more reactant and do that so this will now be very fuel efficient uh, power wise at least alright we got that in there and we'll put these in here to speed it up a little bit I wish it would show how much RF it is using okay I still have a surplus of RF okay let's see upgrade we can actually craft a few more of those. Let's see. This one. Now I don't think I want to put all of these in here because that's probably going to take like all the RF like right away. But there we go. If we put four in there, you know, let's put six in there. Six seems to be like a really good number. Okay, hurry up. There we go. I can grab these, I can grab these, I can grab these, and these. Okay, um, before I finish the episode today, I do want to run downstairs and show you how much cobblestone I have from that cobblestone generator that we built yesterday. All right, let's put these last two in here. Woo, yeah, see, that takes, like, all the RF, like, right away. And it just like eats it because it doesn't have enough RF to finish the whole thing. So I don't know why they make eight speed upgrades. You know what? Five. Here we go. Will that work? That's still using up way too much power. Yeah, I'm going to have to make some more of these to go along with these. And what I'll probably do is just put these down. Put hoppers going on top of each one of these and then one of these on top of each one of those and just automatically just do all that because I'm gonna need quite a few of these because you need four of these for each of the reactor coolers and each one of these only cools for 125 heat per tick. All right. So let's see, uses. Let's look, these, hmm, I need more reactant. What's, what's the other ingredient? Oh, lapis. And I ground a bunch of this, so I have plenty of it. 
All right, now one of the reasons I want to make a reactor is because I can use that to get better RTGs. I want the RTGs that give at least 100 RF per tick. Right now I'm only getting 5 RF per tick and the one compact RTG that I made gives off 2,000 RF per tick. So you can imagine if I swapped all those out for 100 RF per tick, yeah, that, that would be a lot of RF. All right, uses with this and this. Here we go. Oops, don't want to do that. Okay, we got six empty reactor. What was it? Empty reactor coolers. So now if we run back over here, this still hasn't finished. Is this stuck? It just takes forever. Yeah, okay, we are going to have to... Where are those speed upgrades? I threw them in here. Speed upgrades, and where's a generator? Generator. Grab these and coal. One, two, three of those. And we'll do this. And I'm doing that hop thing again. All right, if I put this in here, this in here, and this in here, this should give me enough power to throw in a few of these. All right, and it does glitch sometimes where like it finishes and it looks like it didn't do anything, but if you exit out and go back in, it works fine. All right, I'll, I don't want to spend all day just sitting here looking at this. So we're going to do one more of these, which is what we need. We're going to make one coolant cell or cooler, whatever they're called. Okay, that looks like it's stuck. Come on. There we go. And then I'm going to go show you a couple things around the base. Oops, wrong terminal. So if we do this, we now have a liquid helium reactor cooler. It says not affected by its position in the fission reactor structure. All right, so we can throw all this stuff in here because we are done with that for right now. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, thorium. In order to make the, let's see, which one was it? Oops, no, it was using this stuff. In order to make the helium collector, you're gonna need thorium 230. All right, and to get that, you're gonna take the isotope separator and throw thorium into that. And you should have plenty if you built a quarry or a builder quarry like I showed how to do. I have 3,700 of it, so yeah, I have plenty. Let's see, if I go at nuclear, you can see I have 3,600 uranium ore and I've used a bunch of this. I have 3,700 um, thorium. I have over 3,000 boron and just under 2,900 lithium ore. All right, so let's go run down real quick and look at that cobble gen. I did the math. I believe it should take around 16.2 hours to make one octuple compressed cobblestone. So you can see I let this run. After I did the episode, I went into a test world for a couple hours and then I came back and then it's been running all night and all day and I've managed to get one octuple compressed cobble tone cobble tone Oc one octuple compressed cobblestone and three septuple compressed cobblestone so like I said it it takes over half a day quite a bit over half a day to generate one octuple compressed cobblestone but all I need is four of those maybe five five would make it easier but not really necessary if i have four of those i can make two philosopher stones which i can use to make an energy condenser then i can take a leftover like say septuple compressed cobblestone because i'll probably have at least one of those i could throw it in the in the it's not a compressor collector condenser i'll get it right it's all those words all right, I can throw it in the condenser and I can take like all those ender pearls I have. I have a ton of the, oh, what is it? Ardite, it's Ardite. I have a ton of Ardite, let's see. 
Ardite. I have 104 million, so that'll get me, you know, two octuple compressed cobblestone right there. And pearls, I have 750 million EMC right there for turning into stuff. And then once I get the energy condenser going, I can build an EMC farm. I can build more energy condensers and then go from there. It's just a matter of getting those original four octuple compressed cobblestone. I've already made one stone and I have an octuple compressed cobblestone, so I am halfway there. I literally have everything I need to make or almost everything I need to make a philosopher stone except for the Gaia ingots, which I will be doing that soon. All right. That's all the time I have for today, so until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer, signing off.